Our long-awaited trip to Germany begins today at Hedaraliv Airport. Okay, so today we're flying to Germany through Istanbul. I am visiting my mom and my sister and then I am going to Amsterdam because I have my graduation is scheduled for October 24th. So I'm spending this month in Europe, which I'm very excited for. I'm very excited to see my mom and my sister. And then my cousin also came to Germany for like two, three days. So we're all gonna be reunited there. It's really exciting. So right now we're heading to our gate towards Istanbul. It's gonna be around an eight, nine hour trip which is not too bad because our layover is very short. It's only like an hour and a half. So hopefully we make it right on time. And yeah, let the adventure begin. Never been to California. Never been to LA. So okay guys, so we're going to at a cafe to have a quick snack because I never have breakfast before my flight. And I always regret it, but I never have like the time or like, I don't know, it's just not appropriate because then you have to do dishes blah 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 so we're gonna have a quick little snack right now before our flight our flight is like in an hour so not long to go and we're right near our gate so all small as we flew over Turkey, the views were amazing, the mountains in the Kars region looked incredible from above and the rivers winding through the valleys below. The landscape felt so incredibly beautiful and soon enough we made it safely to Istanbul, ready for whatever comes next. <laughs> Alright world, we're currently at Istanbul airport, we got our Wi-Fi, did the duty-free shopping, my dad is behind me, but um, we're currently walking to our gate, walking to gates over here is just insane, because the distances are very long, it's like to walk to a gate it'll take like 15 minutes, which is wild for an airport. Also coming from such a small airport, like our home airport is tiny, and when I say tiny, I mean it, it's tiny. So. Yeah, anyways, but this is my second home. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I'm here pretty often. I was here last time in July 2030, I believe, when I was coming back from Amsterdam. But yeah, straight to our game. Like a trip to the beach or the life of James Dean. Okay guys, so we realized we do have one hour to go, so we sat at a cafe. I've never been here before, because I usually go to Smitsade here, but I think Smitsade is either like down the, down the road, <laughs> and it's also upstairs. I mean, there's a bunch of them, and it's such a confusing airport, but I'm usually like downstairs in the area of gates A and B. But anyways, ordering tea right now, I am dying to drink tea, so I'm very excited for that. The ambience here is very nice, very cool. My cousin Mehdi is already in Germany. She and my sister were sending me some, you know, video messages on WhatsApp and stuff, which is super nice, and I'm really excited to see them. I also got myself some data, switched my SIM card. Actually, when we went downstairs, like from our apartment, um, we're about to sit in the car, and then suddenly it hits me that I completely forgot to grab my SIM card. So I did that. However, I did forget my neck pillow, which was not very smart of me because I literally specifically got it for this trip because I've given mine to my mom and I got mine from Mini, so like last month. Um, and I was very excited to use it, but I forgot it. So yeah, during the flight, I watched a bit of tennis. I had some like downloaded and then I was watching Wizards of Waverly Place because I also have that downloaded. But I could not like kill the time in the airplane. I was dying. I feel like I don't know why, but I just cannot sit long for like sit in one place for a long period of time. Although the flight was only three hours long, and in theory for a flight that's kind of like nothing. But I'm still struggling with all of that. Also, like the space was so small. Like I feel like smaller than usual. So I was really struggling. But I'm excited to drink my tea. Guys, we're boarding. I'm excited. The boarding 
came pretty quick. Thankfully, I had my notification on on my phone, like in the Turkish Airlines app, because we were sitting and drinking tea, and then it like notified me that boarding has begun. So download the app beforehand, y'all. It's very useful. <laughs> And then we safely made it to Germany. Good morning guys, it's the next day. We're all ready to go out and spend a bit of time together because we haven't seen we have not all been together since last September. So it's been a whole year, a whole ride. So very excited to spend some quality time with my sisters. It is so weird being here. I haven't been here in so long. I think the last time I was here was for New Year's. And it's weird, back then I was still doing my internship at O'Neill. Now we're here, graduated with university, finished our internship, which is very bittersweet. But um, yeah, we're currently walking down to like this photo booth that we hope works because we want to take some photos. And fun fact, actually this is not a fun fact. A sad fact, I've never actually had any photo booth photos. So these might be the first ones if the photo booth works. But I'm very excited. The weather is really nice. I was scared that it's going to be cold, but I'm wearing like super thin pants and I'm fine. <laughs> But I'm wearing my new coat, I've never worn it before. And I'm just wearing a cardigan underneath. So it's pretty warm, everything's nice. There's a nice breeze. Hopefully it doesn't rain because I didn't take a hat or anything. But I do want to buy a new cap from TK Maxx if we find something. And yeah. Since all three of us were finally back together, we decided to walk around and just enjoy the day. And then we finally found this little photo booth and thought it'd be fun to squeeze in for some pictures but it turned out to be way too small for all of us so the session was hilarious after that we sat down to treat ourselves to some waffles covered in chocolate it was the perfect way to wrap up the day delicious and a little bit nostalgic We finished the day off with some tea and baklava at a cozy Turkish cafe and later we kept the laughter and chatter going over more tea at home. It was a perfect way to end the day together. As we walked through the city, we were greeted by the cool air and the beautiful colors of fall. The trees were full of golds, oranges, and reds, and the leaves swirled around us. With every step, it felt like the perfect way to welcome the new season. Calm, peaceful, and just a little bit crisp. Because there's so many police around, because there's like a match today, I think. But they like keep on checking people's like bags and like... But anyways, we came to see the monument. Here it is. That was something. <laughs> Me and my sisters are here <laughs> walking in the center. Um, my mom and dad are also here. We're walking around, then we took like a bus on the tram here. Now we're gonna walk around here. It's weird because, oh, the university is under construction, huh? I feel like I'm in a Oh, it's not true. It's under construction. Everything is under construction as per usual. But it's so weird because my sister used to live so nearby here. And I have oh, I have missed her apartment here. That's all that I have to say. Also, I'm still struggling with a scarf because I don't wear scarves, so I still am struggling actively with wearing. <laughs> Songs, pretend I'll make it someday. I'm 
friends are getting married, they're all settling back. We're currently at the Peter Pan. I've last been here in Berlin in 2019, so I haven't been here in a while, so we're just gonna have a burger. I think. And yeah, oh, they have bucked a lot. Look, this is. Well, this brochure is just a bit orientless, I feel like. I don't know. Okay world, update. We had our food which was amazing. Now we met up with our friend Lala. She's our family friend. And now we're headed to now we're just on a walk and then we're gonna go drink some tea or coffee. I always drink tea. But it got a bit chiller, so now having the scarf around is nice because it was a bit warm during the morning. But walking now, it's very nice. Very happy I opted out for sweatpants today because they're so comfortable and obviously we're walking a lot but there were so many police when we went to the monument that I'm not sure how you call it in English but anyways, we went to the monument and there were so many police and they were actually arresting people around and that was insane I was not expecting that on a Sunday calm morning but it was not a calm Sunday morning it was chaotic but I think this is a park we're walking through it's so nice anyways, fall in Europe is amazing uh, definitely would want to see like fall in New York or something. But yeah, time to blast Red Taylor's version, honestly. Can't swallow.